Want to know how to fix the application not installed problem on Android? I'm your friend Nico, and in this video, I'll show you how to fix it step by step. In this video, I will show you several solutions so that you can install the application you want. In this case, I will search for the application I want to install to show you that it does not install so you can verify that the methods work. I'll try this app called Wise, which is the one I want to install. I'd like to take this opportunity to ask you to like the video, subscribe, and activate the notification bell. Here, as you can see, it says application not installed. The first and most recommended solution is to check your phone's storage space. Why? Because when the memory is full, applications cannot be installed. To find the storage options, swipe down from the top of the screen. You will see several options and you should tap the one I point out. In the search bar, type storage. Usually it is the first option that appears. In my case, I have plenty of free space, but check yours, as the error is often due to the memory being full. Since the error is not due to storage, it is most likely due to the App Store settings, as when these are enabled, external apps cannot be installed. Open the Play Store, go to your profile picture in the corner, and tap it to enter the menu. Tap where it says Play Protect. Tap this option here. In this section, disable these options and that should allow you to install external apps. Now I'm going to try installing the application again to see if it works. While it is installing, I invite you to subscribe and activate the notification bell. Here, as you can see, the app has already been installed. But if you still can't install the app you wanted, stay tuned to the video to learn about the third method which is the definitive one that will allow you to install the app. For the third method, open the Play Store and type device information in the search bar to find the app we need. Here, install the app I'm pointing to. Once installed, click Open. With this application, you can find out the exact architecture of your device. As you can see, my device is a Redmi, but what we're really interested in is in the hardware section. In this section, right where it says Support ABIs, it shows the architectures that your phone supports. In my case, it is ARM64 V8A, ARMI ABI V7A, ARMI ABI. So, this means that my architecture is 64-bit and 32-bit. This is key because if you download an app that does not match your phone's architecture, it will never install. Now open your browser and type APK Mirror into the search engine. Click on this page. Now find the app you want to install. 
I'll look for the app called Telegram. Here, as you can see, there are several versions of the app. A suggestion, if none of them match your phone's architecture, choose another compatible version. So when it comes to downloading, I recommend always downloading the most up-to-date version because it usually has optimized architecture for the newest cell phones. In this part, you just have to scroll down Here, as you can see, all available architectures are listed. Download the one that is compatible with your phone so that the application installs correctly and without the application not installed error. I would like to take this opportunity to invite you to subscribe to the channel and like this video so you can support me in continuing to bring you more useful solutions and tips. Okay, let's continue with the video. Here you just have to scroll down to where the download option appears and click on it to start the download. As you can see here, the application has been downloaded successfully. Now I'm going to install it to see if this time it installs without the application not installed error appearing. All done. As you can see, the application installed without any problems. If you have reached this point and the application is not installing, it is advisable to check the Android version of your device. To do so, swipe down and go to Settings. On some devices, you have to swipe down to find the Phone Information section. In my case, it appears as the first option. Here, as you can see, my phone has Android 13. Once you know your version, go to your browser and type in the name of the app, along with the version of Android you are using. And here, as you can see, several websites appear that have a version compatible with your device. An additional tip, if you turn off Wi-Fi when installing the app, it is more likely to install correctly. If this video worked for you, leave your thanks in the comments so others can see that it really does work. And if it didn't work for you, tell me which app you want to install and what your phone's architecture is so I can help you more accurately.